Mheshimiwa Rais Mkuu wa Gwaride hii Senior Under Officer Brian Madenji Ngure Jeshi la nchi hapo Mkuu wa Kikundi cha Kwanza Senior Under Officer Paul Odiapo Odoa Jeshi la nchi hapo Captain Sergeant of Sakadets Samuel Chacha Oherai Jeshi la nchi hapo Pili Mheshimiwa Rais iko chini yake Junior Under Officer Dennis Melita na Nyokoko Jeshi la nchi hapo Captain Sergeant Officer Cadet Sean Chekuroi Chini yake yuni ya anda officer On face Gwangila Jeshi na Chikamu Captain Sergeant Officer Cadet Hamid Hussein Omar Jeshi na Chikamu Mwishmiwa Rais Platoon ya nune Iko chini yake yuni ya anda officer Minka Mohamed Yona Jeshi la wananchi wa Tanzania Platoon Sergeant of Sakadet Nusi Nyamusi Nyachio Jeshi la Chikamu Mheshimiwa Rais Platoon ya tano iko chini yake Junior Under Officer David Paul Gitonga Jeshi la wanahewa Sango Brian Chepkoy Jeshi la wanaewa Kikundi cha sita Cha mwisho mwisho wa rais Kiko chini ya kejuni ya anda officer Enrico Lopua Elimlim Jeshi la wanabaja Batu sergeant Of sakadet Frederick Kayoki Mwani Mwisho kakisa Pareta Akita Safia Diramu Diba Jeshi la Wanamaji
Shima na mtu simame kwa review order na wimbo wa taifa. Red will advance in review order. Find the center with my Mheshimiwa Rais na mtu baki katika tumesimama kwa ajili ya kipindi cha kula kiapo kwa Gadget Hawa kitakachoongozwa na Major Reverend Wesley Kwaichi Major Father Joram Kiteto na Captain Imam Muhammad Kasim Arero Oath of Allegiance Do hereby swear, do hereby swear by, the almighty God that by the Almighty God that I will be faithful, I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the President, the president as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, the, of the, Kenya Defense Forces the Republic of Kenya, the Republic of Kenya and the Constitution. And the Constitution. I will faithfully serve the President and the Republic of Kenya as an officer of the Kenya Defense Forces. I will obey all laws and all orders, regulations, directions and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. I will discharge all the duties of an officer of the Kenya Defense Forces, according to the law, without fear, favor, affection or ill will, so help me God. Asanteni, kwa heshima tuwaza kuketi tafadhali.
kupokea jamia la senior and officer au panga ni luteni Rashid Suleiman Juma Mshiwa Rais hivi sasa kitafuta kipindi cha kuweza kuwatunza au kuwa zawidi waliofanya bora zaidi wakati wa mafunzo yao. Kitakachoongozwa na kuchu hiki Major General Peter Njiru akisaidiana na Captain Naomi Ondieki, Academy Sergeant Major Orat of Salan Fangwell Naebo, Orat of Statue George Chama, Sergeant Daniel Kagiri na Sergeant Leonard Kiptum. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, the cadets before you have successfully completed their 37 months of foundational military training in this academy. The aim of this training has been to transform them from civilians to military officers and prepare their foundation for future leadership in the Defense Forces. Your Excellency, the focus of this academy is to be a center of excellence by providing value-based training to ensure that the officers who commission are professionally, physically, intellectually, socially, and morally oriented to military life. In this regard, then training encompasses professional military training, academics, and most importantly, character development. The training culminates by them graduating with a BSc degree in military and security studies. As an academy, we are confident, Your Excellency, that we are commissioning junior military leaders of solid character who will be diligent, committed, and will demonstrate physical and moral courage uh, during execution of the emissions. Those immediately before you, sir, excel in intake as fields while in training and I kindly request your excellency to present them with the ones of their for their good performance. Your excellency sir. Asante ni wengine tunaweza kuketi tafadhali. Winners awards. The best of cadets in leadership and command and winner of the sword of honor. Number 151082 senior under officer Brian Madinji Ngure, Kenya Army. The second best officer cadet in leadership and command and winner of Commandant's Trophy, number 136829, Cadet Adjutant Safia Diramo Diba, Kenya Navy. in professional studies and winner of professional studies award number 151-112 junior under officer Dennis Melita Nanyukoko Kenya Army Thank you. 
The second best officer cadet in professional studies and the second winner of professional studies award. Number one, 11, 9, 12, junior under officer, David Paul Gitonga, Kenya Air Force. The third best officer cadet in professional studies and the third winner of professional studies award. Number 151093, junior under officer, Bonface Wangila, Kenya Army. The best officer cadet in character development and winner of character development award. Number 151095, junior under officer, Paul Odiambo Oluwal, Kenya Army. in character development and the second winner of character development award number 136832 junior under officer enrico lopua elimli kenya navy The best allied officer cadet in order of merit and winner of Commandant's Award. Number 122465, Junior Under Officer, Mika Mohamed Yona, Tanzania People's Defense Forces. The best officer cadet in academic studies and winner of the academic studies award. Number 111919, officer cadet Jokevin Muiga Rugara, Kenya Air Force. Asante sana mwishmi rice kwa kuweza kwa tuza kadeti hawa.
Your Excellency, it is now my pleasure and duty and honor to request you kindly to commission these cadets as officers of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency. Kwa heshima na umba tusimame sote kwa jiri ya kipili hiki, chukupewa mamlaka kudetawa. I, Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, do give you greetings and reposing a special trust and confidence in your loyalty, courage, and good conduct do by these present constitute and appoint you to be an officer in the Kenya Defense Forces. You are therefore carefully and diligently to discharge your duty as such in the rank of second lieutenant or in such other rank as I may from time to time hereafter promote or appoint you to. And you are in such manner and on such occasions as may be prescribed to exercise and well discipline in their duties such officers men and women, as may be placed under your orders, and I do hereby command them to obey you as their superior officer, and for you to observe and follow such orders and directions as from time to time you shall receive from me in pursuance of the trust hereby reposed in you. Asanteni kwa heshima tuwaza kuketi tafadhali. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya, the First Lady, the Cabinet Secretary for Defense, the Chief of the Defense Forces, Governor Nakuru County, CAS Defense, the Principal Secretary for Defense, VCDF, Service con Commanders, Honorable Members of Parliament, the Vice Chancellor, and the staff of Kenyatta University, distinguished members of the Diplomatic Court, senior officers and members of the Kenya Defense Forces, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, on behalf of the entire Academy Fraternity, and on my own behalf, I wish once again to welcome you and thank you for finding time from your busy schedule 
to be with us here today. Your Excellency, these newly commissioned officers will from here join various services, formations, and units of the Kenya Defense Forces and allied countries where they will take up their respective leadership roles. May I now kindly request Your Excellency to address the officers and give them your wise counsel. Your Excellency, sir. Uh, thank you. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Commissioned officer cadets, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it does indeed give me great pleasure to preside over today's commissioning parade for this graduating class of officer cadets. I extend my hearty congratulations to each one of you for successfully completing a challenging and rigorous three years training at the Kenya Military Academy. I also register my appreciation to the trainers who have coached, mentored, and instructed you over the last three years. Congratulations to you for all, all for a job well done. Graduates, the professional knowledge, skills, and competencies that you have acquired will empower you in the performance of your duties of serving and protecting the sovereignty of your respective nations, her people, and indeed our region. Indeed, it is gratifying to note that the Kenya Military Academy also trains cadets from our neighbors within the East African region. And I have no doubt that the commissioned cadets from Rwanda, Tanzania, and Uganda will be going back to their respective countries having acquired first class training from one of the foremost military training institution, institutions in Africa. But more significantly, I am confident that the friendships established amongst you will continue to strengthen our national ties and our collective response to the security challenges that we continue to face in our region. To Kenya's incoming crop of officers, as your Commander-in-Chief, it gives me great pride to witness your addition to the ranks of our Defence Forces, individually and collectively, you will strengthen our capacity as well as our capabilities. Officers, ladies and gentlemen, the excellence on display today is the fruits of excellent training delivered by a dedicated team of superb trainers. And once again, I would like to, command, to commend the Commandant and the trainers who over the last three years have worked hard to produce such a fine cohort of young officers. Ladies and gentlemen, as Kenya and our allies individually and collectively look to the future, our defense forces must be prepared to respond effectively to diverse challenges from both conventional as well as asymmetrical spheres. To effectively contain the security challenges of the 21st century, training within the military 
must be better aligned with emerging threats across all domains and the expanded demands placed on the shoulders of our forces. As I said the other day, when closing exercise Linda Bahari, there is the military maxim that states, train hard so that you may fight easy. Officers, today is not the end of your learning and training. It is important to underscore that learning to acquire knowledge and to sharpen your skills and competencies shall be a daily endeavor throughout the entire course of your career in uniform. Equally key is your commitment to hard work, diligence, and excellence, which has brought you thus far and which must never diminish. You are not merely warriors at arms. You are defenders of the fundamental ideals held dear by our nation and our people. You stand ready to fight so that our nation may be safe and prosperous. You will also be called upon to respond to natural disasters and to your fellow citizens, you may also be called upon to support them in nation building and to the cries of vulnerable foreign people in dire need of protection by peacekeepers, you will be looked upon to perform. And in performing the full scope of your duties, officers, you must always remain true to your sacred oath to serve your nation faithfully with courage, with honor, and to the best of your ability. To the families and friends of the cadets receiving their commissions today, I would like to thank you wholeheartedly for your understanding. We would have liked very much for you to be with us here physically, to witness your sons and daughters being honored for their performance. But this invisible enemy, known as the COVID-19, that has invaded the globe has made it necessary to rethink our ways of conducting business. It is my sincere hope that even though from your homes you were still able to witness this monumental occasion, we thank you parents and guardians we thank you for your encouragement, your thoughts and prayers, which have spurred these fine men and women to this momentous day. Lastly, let me reiterate to the newly commissioned officers that you are most privileged to have been selected to serve in the Kenya Defense Forces or within the militaries of our allies. As you join your respective services and units, be proud of your achievements and new officer status. Always remember that to those whom much has been given, much shall in turn be expected. We expect a lot from you, but our expectations are not more than you can deliver. We also urge you to always abide by the tenets of the officer's creed and to never let the high standards of professionalism, valor, and commitment to duty 
that have been set by your predecessors diminish by even one iota. I trust, and indeed we all trust, that you will reward our trust and confidence in you with long and illustrious careers that will inspire others to heed the call to serve. Thank you, and may God bless you as you continue and go about your new duties as officers of your respective nations. Mungu wa wabariki, mungu wa walinde, mukielekea kazi zenu umpia. Asante ni sana. Tusimame sote tafadhali kwa ajili ya kipindi cha heko kwa rais kitakachofuata. sasa akija hivi sasa kuweza kuomba idhini ya kuondoa gwaride ya maafisa wapya uwanjani Asante ni kwa heshima tunaweza kuketi tafadhali. Kama video ni vusikia 
the officers to your duties. So much. Bada kupewa laka mishmi rice na miri deshiku. Mafisa hawa sikuere. Wamefuzu kupata kuwa mafisa katika majeshi tulizi ya Kenya. Bada kufumilia makali ya nayo na mana. Mafunzo ya afisa wa kijeshi kama vile nivusikia katika chuhiki takriban miaka mitatu lakini siku ya leo furaha na shangu na jeremo kwa kwani wamefunzu rasmi kwa mafisa katika majeshi ya chuhizi ya kenya tunawapongeza tena na kuwashukuru kwa nili mengi wali uweza kuyapitia wakati wa mafunzo yao Kurauka kila siku mapema subuhi na kulala kuchelewa kutembea kilomita nyingi tu wakiwa wamebeba mizigo mizito ikiona zana zao za kijeshi kupanda milima na mabonde kutembea kwenye changara miba kupita katikati ya wanyama pori wakali lakini Mwenyezi Mungu Mepata kuweza kuwa linda katika hali zote hizo Na siku ya leo Wanajifunia kufunzu kuwa mafisa katika majishi ya chulizi ya Kenya Ukiwa metoka ukiwa shahada ya kwanza Katika saesi ya kijeshi Na maswala ya usalama Kutoka chuu kiku chakejata Tulawashukuru wa kufunzi wote wa chuo hicho Kwa kupata kuwapa mafunzo maafisa wetu hawa Na siku ya leo Wanafunzo wa kipata kuna kujiunga Na vikosi malivari vya majeshi ya chaulizi ya Kenya Tayari kupata kuendelea kulinda taifa letu Tulawatakia kila lakheri popote pale watakapokuwepo Wakiendeleza shukuri hizo Yashukuru kwa chuhiki na ibu wake Komandanta Kadetsko Ahali kadhalika Academy Sergeant Major Ila kumsahau Defense Forces Sergeant Major Ronald of Sarang Elisha Koranga Kenya Army Sergeant Major Ronald of Sarang Mahmoud Sain Abdala Kenya Air Force Sergeant Major Ronald of Sarang Dennis Talengo Namu Ahali kadhalika Kenya Navy Sergeant Major Warrant of Saban Haji Wana Omar Ojidabi Guwapa Mawaida Kila wakati Maafisa wetu hawa Mashukuru pia madaktari Amao wadikuwa kishukulikia Afya Za maafisa hawa Na mila kwa sahawa Wote ambao Wameusika katika masila yao Kwa kikisha wamepata mafazi Vya kula na kodalika Tunawatakia kila wakati Mwa bendi zetu za majishi ulizi ya Kenya Kiondoka wanjani Chini ya kedi uchedi kanali Martin Makadi ya Namboka Senior Grand Major Siku ya leo kiwa ni Sergeant Moses Bet
Rice baada ya bendi hiyo kutoka uwanjani kitafata kipindi cha picha ya kumbukumbu ambayo naomba uweze kupiga pamoja na hawa maafisa wapya siku leo waliofuzu na kwanza kabisa ni gwaridi ya kupanga viti kwa ajili ya picha hiyo Gwaridi hii inaongozwa na senior sergeant DJ Kirwa na kikosi cha 15 cha jeshi letu Lake Kavu. Stay high. Ikiwa ndio kauli mbiu yao. Stay high. One five. zaidi na kwa mpango umeshakamilisha shughuli hiyo Asante sana sisi sasa DJ Kiwa na kikosi cha kwanza tujeshi letu na nchi kavu Baada ya hii mheshimiwa rais maafisa wetu waliofuzu wanajiandaa hivi sasa kuweza kuja na kuchukua nafasi zao kwenye viti hivi tayari kwa picha hii ya siku ya leo utaweza kutazama kwamba kuna karatasi wameshika katika kona kushoto hii ikiwa ni mashauri ama maagizo waliopewa na mheshimiwa rais siku ya leo ya, pa, ya kwamba wapate kuweza kuwa nayo kila wakati wanapo kuwa katika shughuli zao za kijeshi kujikumbusha mashauri haya ili kwamba wapate kila wakati kuyafuata umeshuhudia kwamba wamefuzu walipokuwa kitoka kwa mwendo wa kinyonga ilikuwa ni siku yao ya mwisho leo kupata kutumia bunduki kwenye gwaride kuanzia sasa maafisa hawa watakuwa kitumia jambia ama ukipenda upanga wa maafisa wetu wanakuja ni sasa kwa maridari nilivyosema kuchukua nafasi zao kwenye picha hiyo anaipanga kiti cha rais senior sergeant consolata na fula wanyonyi ukiweza kutazama kwenye mabega yao zinangara hivi sasa nyota moja ya kwanza ambayo hivi sasa ndiyo ndicho cheo cha kwanza cha maafisa wa majeshi ulinzi ya Kenya cheo cha luteni kama vile ulivyoweza kukabiliwa rasmi siku leo tukishuhudia na mheshimiwa rais amiri jeshi mkuu wa majeshi yote ulinzi ya Kenya Asante sana sisi sasa konsolata pamoja na sisi sasa tuongea sasa defense forces side major wa Tosan Elige Koranga pamoja na service side majors wakichukua nafasi zao wakiwa pamoja na academy side major warrant of Sawan Fangul Mahebo na warrant of Sawan Mulwa wakichukua nafasi zao you are watching the commissioning parade of officer cadets at the Kenya Military Academy in Lanet. President Uhuru Kenyatta uh, has overseen the exercise presiding over 
the culmination of a 37-month training which has been done in conjunction with the Kenyatta University. The history of the Kenya Military Academy dates back to 1941 when it was named Sergeant Leakey Barracks in honor of a member of the Kenya Regiment killed in action in, on 19th May 1941 in Abyssinia, now Ethiopia. By 1955, it was a training center for the Kenya Regiment. The training of the regular forces of the King's African Rifle in Eastern and Central Africa was done in Jinja, Uganda with the courses being located at Lanette Barracks, Kenya. With the advent of independence in 1960, the training of regular forces in Uganda was terminated. The courses wing, East Africa, was moved to Lanette Barracks in 1962 and renamed East Africa Training Center, EATC. Similarly, the pre Sandhurst and Mons Officers Cadet Course, which had temporarily been established at Jinja was also moved to Lanette. The East Africa Training Center continued to serve both East and Central Africa as training institution for cadets and non-commissioned officers. After independence, the respective countries established their own training schools. The cadets commissioning today are the eighth group under the Bachelor of Science and Military and security studies program offered by Kenyatta University in collaboration with the Ministry of Defense. They commenced their training in November 2017 and are scheduled to graduate in December 2020 at the Kenyatta University. And uh, on your screen is uh, a photo opportunity uh, the cadets, the graduates, are having that opportunity with the President of the Republic of Kenya, who is also the Commander-in-Chief of Kenya Defense Forces. That marks the end of this special coverage from the Kenya Military Academy in Lanet. It has been a broadcast made possible by the collaboration between the Kenya Defense Forces, KDF, and Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. My name is Edward Kabasa. Now I will hand you back to the broadcast. Electrical spheres. Mushimiwa Margaret Kenyatta. Karibu sana mama taifa hapa. Katika mwanja huo bolide. Officer to Kenya. Kenya Military Academy. And um, in a couple of moments, President Uhuru Kenyatta uh, will be here. He will be overseeing this important um, occasion in the calendar of the Kenya Defense Forces. Um, uh, last month, we did see the graduation uh, pass out parade of the non-commissioned officers in Eldoret and um, this is an exercise that happens every year and uh, the Kenya Defense Forces uh, prides itself of uh, training young Kenyan men and women who serve this country diligently. Um, they are the brave uniformed officers charged with the responsibility of ensuring that Kenyan borders are safe. The president in his previous address addresses has expressed the commitment by the government to ensure that the Kenya Defense Forces is well financed to enable it um, perform its mandate not only in Kenya but in the entire East African region. Over the last couple of years we have seen the Kenya Defense Forces playing a major role in uh, bringing peace in different parts of this continent. Um, Kenyan soldiers are well known all over the continent. Um, they have been um, embedded in, in, in different um, organizations to ensure
ensure that uh, the continent attains that peace that uh, is able to help spur growth in this continent. Kenya's position uh, globally, having been elected uh, a member of the um, UN Security Council, um, it means that it has to do everything possible to ensure that um, it is positioned to not only um, ensure stability in the region, but um, ensure that uh, it plays a part in, uh, in, in global stability, security and peace as well. The President will address the graduates this afternoon and um, we'll be waiting to see what uh, announcement he will make. Previously he has announced that uh, the government um, will ensure good investment and, um, and, and just to position the Kenyan uh, Defence Forces very well. Um, so that uh, it is able to uh, charge that mandate that uh, it has been uh, it has been accorded by the constitution and by the um, Kenya um, as a country and as a people. Uh, in the last couple of months, we have seen the uh, Kenya Defence Forces um, open a number of bar barracks. Uh, the uh, the latest one was the Modika Barracks in Garissa County, and uh, that barracks um, serves a very big purpose in the region and uh, it ensures that uh, uh, that Kenyan men and women are close to the border with Somalia, a region that uh, for long has been a thorn in the flesh of uh, Kenyan security. But uh, the president has often stood by the Kenya Defense Forces, encouraging them to continue performing that uh, mandate diligently, which they have done um, very um, well. This is according to um, the president. And so this afternoon, the officers that you are seeing on your screen right now, they will be joining this particular group that uh, has been given a lot of strength by the support the government has accorded them um, over the last years. And recently we did see the military for the first time publishing a book, a Soldier's Legacy. This is a book that um, goes behind the scenes and it uh, speaks about the work that Kenyan men and women, gallant soldiers, um, do for the country. The challenges that they face in their line of duty, the moments of success that they have experienced um, in their line of duty. The soldier's legacy, it went on sale a couple of months ago and um, it gives uh, Kenyans an opportunity to uh, read and understand and uh, imagine what happens um, when cameras are not, are not there like they are here today at the Kenya Military Academy in Lanet. The Kenya Defense Forces has ensured that uh, it conducts itself with uh, a lot of respect and um, over the years um, it has invigorated its engagement with the public through the uh, public relations office uh, just putting out um, the necessary information that Kenyans can have access to so that they uh, play a part and see what really goes on uh, within the Kenya Defense Forces. In a couple of moments, President Uhuru Kenyatta will be here and uh, he will uh, be inspecting the Guard of Honor and uh, the President's motorcade, uh, the ceremonial uh, Land Rover, as it has commonly been referred to, is making its way to this particular square. In a couple of minutes you will be able to see it um, on your screen in a couple of minutes, probably five minutes or even less, the president um, will be making his way. The first lady, Margaret Kenyatta, has already made her way here. The governor of Nakuru County, Governor Lee Kenyanjui, has also made his way here. Lanet um, Kenya Military Academy is in Nakuru County. The KDF trying the best it can to foster a good relationship between uh, the organization and uh, the hosts and that being the Nakuru County as a whole. Uh, that involves the Nakuru County government 
and the people of Nakuru. Now, I will hand you over so that you can follow this special broadcast courtesy of the Kenya Defense Forces and Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. Enjoy your viewing. Karibu sana mweshmi wa rais. Karibu sana utuongoze katika shere hizi. Za kufuzu. Kupewa mamlaka kwa kadeti wetu. Sufuri nane. Miambili na ishirini. Hapa katika wanja wa gwaride. Wachuo cha majeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya. Karibu sana mweshmi wa rais. Karibu. Karibu sana hapa katika chuo hiki la net uweze kutuongoza katika sherehe hii muhimu kufuzu kadeti wetu 08/2020 tubaki tukio tumesimama tafadhali kwa ajili ya wimbo wa taifa na wimbo wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki sasa mkuu wa gorida hii anakuja kuweza kumuomba kwa heshima rais wetu wa jamhuri ya Kenya na mirejesho mkuu jeshi ya ulinzi ya Kenya aweze kuikagua gorida hii ya heshima your excellency commissioning cadet formed up present and ready for inspection sir Asante ni kuheshimu kwa kuketi tafadhali. Anasindikizwa hivi sasa mkuu wa jeshi ya ulinzi wa Kenya General Robert Kibochi na mkuu wa chuo hiki Major General Peter Njiru. Waelekezi Senior Sergeant Bena Wangila na Senior Sergeant Rasi Hassan
Excellent. Where have your permission? Carry on with the parade. Stop, please.